So I want to create a space where anyone in my community feels like they come in and feel supported and seen as they are. Kai Hallows is the co-owner of Lavender Vinyl, a queer-owned business on 25th Street in Ogden. It is a queer safe space in our community that is music and love for every single human being. On Tuesday night, Governor Spencer Cox signed a controversial bill into law. It requires people to use a public restroom or locker room based on their sex designated at birth, unless they fully transitioned. It was sponsored by Representative Kara Berkland. This bill doesn't target any one specific group. It creates privacy for all Utahns. Governor Cox said in a statement, quote, we want public facilities that are safe and accommodating for everyone. And this bill increases privacy protections for all. We're being victimized, really. Um, I don't want to make a scene. I don't want to have a problem. I just want to go in and do my business and get out just like every other person. So businesses like Lavender Vinyl and the Happy Magpie, both in Ogden, are putting out a message to the community that their businesses are safe spaces for queer and specifically trans people who might feel marginalized because of the bill. It's important for me that these spaces exist and that folks in our community know that we will be advocating for them and holding space for them too. So uh, we're selling books, but we're also protecting our community too. Over the weekend, Project Rainbow started giving out these trans flags to business owners here in Ogden for them to display on their windows or give out to other community members and customers who come through. Owners say people have been receptive so far and want to continue showing their support for those who need it. I love to see people that I wouldn't necessarily expect to come in and be like, hey, I'm, I'm throwing down, I want to show my support, I want to raise this flag, and it's it's been um, kind of a beacon of light in a hard time. In Ogden, I am Maitri Gobi, Fox 13 News, Utah.